My name is Mauke. I'm 26. I live in Rotterdam. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Open Source Radio. Uh, I also work as a creative manager at Drift and I'm a DJ under the name of uh, Operating Modus. My first memory about music is probably Eminem. Um, my father listened to it and he had a lot of CDs of his concerts and his, uh, his albums. And uh, as a kid I listened to him like the whole day. Well, well, that's my first memory in music that really took me. And uh, after that I, I think I was like eight or something when I got involved to electronic music. I uh, started listening to Dance Department on 538 at uh, Friday night. And then, uh, well, then it just went more serious at some point. And I started listening, like really downloading a lot of music and checking out albums and like trying to discover new artists. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I, think, I think I was like 11 or 12 when that started and that never stopped. <laughs> I started DJing at the point that I knew because like my music taste was evolving quite rapidly and I wanted to be a DJ for a while but I realized that I was shifting constantly between different genres and I think electro was the first electronic music genre that, that got that, like that fascinated me so much that I knew that I wasn't um, like I wasn't going anywhere else. Well I still love electro but I and 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 I know that I have a passion about broken beat uh, music uh, and, and still it evolved. Like I love electro, but I um, love so many other genres too. Lots of, right, right now I'm listening a lot to, uh, to IDM and lots of music from uh, the early 90s, also, also Progressive House from Sasha and John Dickweed and those kind of artists. Um, and lots of listening music as well. Probably because it's like pandemic time and, and well, that, that might have uh, impact on the way you experience music. So right now I'm like focusing a lot of uh, on a, a bit more abstract music and less like club orientated kind of sounds. Something that I do mostly in my sets is that I well use a lot of different kind of vibes and try to create them, like fit them into one consistent storyline. I want to have the element of surprise in my music and use different kind of tracks that are way different than like the tracks that I've been playing before, but they do fit in. Like they do, do uh, make the story stronger and more, more, more as a whole. And uh, I think that's, that's it's so, it's something that I'm trying to improve myself in as a DJ, like make sure that everything fits and everything is adding something to the story. I have two radio shows, uh, they're called Challenger and uh, Subaquatic. Challenger is a radio show by Rules Weers, a good friend of mine, uh, and I. Uh, we do it every month and, uh, well, it kind of started as a joke because I, I wanted to create artwork for a radio show that has a Dodge Challenger in it. And then at some point, uh, well, we realized that it, actually the name Challenger really suited the idea that we had because um, we are, we're playing there for ourselves and we're always like one of the th great things about playing with Rule is that we are always trying to improve ourselves and like surprise each other with new kinds of music. So the first time that we played we started playing techno and electro and, and then at some point I started playing like 85 BPM down tempo music and he was like uh, he didn't know that I had that and he had this huge collection of music that he played on his own and never with someone else and then we well, we kept on like trying new things and like showing each other new genres and 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 creating music with that and that's 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 what we do at home and it's actually exactly the same what we're trying to do with challenger yeah so that's good fun it's always a big experiment yeah. and um and subaquatic is um more focused on a deeper 
electro breakbeat oriented sound. Um, it, it just started, I just uh, had one show with uh, Tripio um, and I'm still kind of seeing where it's going, but I wanted to use the element of water in the name uh, because it's like, it's, it's a huge influence in one of my f favorite artists called Drexia. And um, so yeah, that's, that's something that I wanted to involve and also it kind of represents the style of the sound that I want to, um, want to use, want to present in the, in the show. I started uh, organizing uh, these small intimate club nights called Orbit uh, in Nijmegen and Doorosje. And um, I did that together with Darko Esser, uh, one of the programmers of uh, Don Roche. And we were both electrophonetics and we had this idea to create small events, small passionate events for like electro heads, but also uh, create something that made electro uh, more accessible for people that never heard of of the genre before but like want to discover new grounds first one we booked uh no moon uh and uh Luski, which is um in my opinion the best electro artist of the netherlands and um and it went really well like we had full house and uh it was uh, it was a good one and um so yeah we had a lot of inspiration to keep it going and then COVID started and we had to uh, shut the second edition down uh, which was a shame because we had uh, some nice plans for it and also for the rest of the summer. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Open Source Radio. Uh, I started, uh, uh, or I got, I got the idea to start uh, with an online radio station when I worked as a talent scout for Don Roche. Uh, I did a research there about electronic music and, um, well, Nijmegen has a super musically varied city with lots of concepts, lots of crews, lots of uh, artists and labels and all that kind of stuff, but it missed, it missed this place where all these things can come together and where there's like room for like trying out new things, experimenting and uh, inspiring each other, uh, collaborating. And, um, and I also noticed that the same thing was happening in hip hop music. Um, and uh, yeah, so I spoke with a lot of people and at some point I realized that we need this place like where, where, where we can bring cultures together and music genres and different kind of people and, and create new things and like make it more of a safe space. Um, and that was the idea of uh, Open Source Radio. So if I compare the scene in Nijmegen to the scenes in bigger cities in the Netherlands like Amsterdam or Rotterdam, I think um, they're quite different. Um, and that's because Nijmegen is a smaller city and everybody knows each other. And well, funny thing is that when you look at like musical concepts, uh, like, like uh, club nights or by different organizations, I think Nijmegen has twice the amount of concepts twice of, twice the amount of crews than uh for example rotterdam uh so there's happening a lot and there's lots of specific music that you can enjoy over there so that's a funny thing because Nijmegen is obvi obviously way smaller um but um well because of the fact that it's so small everybody knows each other and it's got this a bit of a everybody knows everybody kind of vibe and it's super fun um, but it's also, uh, well, if you compare it to, for example, Amsterdam is way more bigger and the scene is way more evolved and there's way more room for experiment than in Nijmegen. And that's something that I find interesting. Like Nijmegen has a lot, but it's every, like everything's kind of safe because when it gets too difficult, it doesn't work anymore. And then you, you need to go to different cities, like bigger cities where, where scenes are more evolved, for example, Rotterdam as well.
what you can expect of me is that you're gonna find me crying on every dance floor for uh, for the first few months after clubs uh, are able to open again um, but besides that uh, well I'm just gonna invest a lot of time in the, the projects that I work on and uh, I hope that we can uh, we have a lot of interesting plans uh, with Drift with open source radio and uh, I can't wait to play as a DJ uh, I have so much new music uh, that I collected that I imagined playing at nightclubs but didn't have the chance obviously to do that so yeah I'm hoping for some uh, six hour slots and uh, and just uh, playing all all the beautiful music that I collected <laughs>